hoping this will be enough for a fish tank stand. I don't want it falling on me. Well, let's dive into this jelly pond. All right, so here it is. The 470 gallon Boswell pond is six and a half foot by four and a half foot by two foot. And the best part about this pond is it has a viewing panel. So not like your usual temporary setups that you can't see through. And as the title said, there they are, the Shelleys. Ooh, and what you just saw with that kick there, that was actually my air conditioner kicked on. Scared that guy, which scared these guys. But they do get along. Everybody gets along in here. We've got rainbow fish, lots of different rainbow fish. Silabies, half beaks. Those guys are really cool. We got males and females. Those are live bears. Hello, hello, hello. As you can see, the rainbows are super friendly. They're probably looking for dinner right now but it's great to watch these shellies interact with these bigger fish in here because they'll actually they'll travel all the way through the whole pond area and if you guys are looking for a pond like this too i'll show you guys the link here and yes many of you guys may have seen the live of this but the live was just such bad quality had to give you an edited version so there we got the uh we got the chelnathernia upper tour rainbow fish oh he disappeared so what's crazy about this too is how it's how it refracts the view. See this sword plant watch just disappear. Ain't that crazy? That big old sword plant disappeared. Melanotania, Cali rum. Got some Melanotania goldie eyed Kai in here, females. There's a male in here somewhere. See, there's a Shelly hanging out with the big fish. They just cruise around. And with this power head here, this is a Decia 250. And they have sponge filters on them, but I can see all the way back. You can see how you can see all the way back to the back. Just that one sponge filter. And big reason I can get away with that is the fact that I don't have any quarry cats in here, Placos, Pandagoras, anything that's kicking up sand and substrate loaches. And there you can see I do have smaller rainbow fish in here as well. That's a Rutu and a Glossolepis maculosus back there. You're in total breed mode on that thing. And I won't catch any of these eggs here because you do not want to hybridize rainbow fish. That's a no-no and very, very looked down on. And one of my favorite things with this pond as well is the top-down views. Like how awesome are top down views on rainbow fish. See the half beak there. Look at the long fins and colors on that Celebes half beak. That's a male. As far as the lighting here, I have Sunco 6500K. Also have that link for you guys on my website. Cheap lights plug into each other. Gotta love that piggyback plug in. And then I just use the lid to a tote. And as far as the plants in here, we've got Huderoid Crypt down here. We got some Barrier Anubius and a huge Black Knight Purple Sword. So here you can see more of a top view of this huge Huderoid Crypt. That thing is probably like five plus years old, if not older than that. Nice size of that. Then I also got a bunch of random Buccia Philandras, kind of sporadically. We got Pogus Stimmon, Octopus. Another type of crypt, I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna let that grow out. I think it may be a Nuri or Buche. See some of my plants did get dug up, my Buche, and then I've got Rotaya Colorado. I've got some, some crazy red tiger bow. Looks like it's trying to grow a little BBA on it though. We'll have to watch out for that. And I got Brazilian Pennywort. Not sure how it's like in this softer water. And I do have shelves kind of scattered back. That way they can have different territories. Ooh, look how thick that girl is. You a thicky. Also, if you look in the power head here, I've got sponge here, sponge here, but right there is paper towel. Oh, there goes another Shelly. 
Paper towels are really great at cleaning that small debris and polishing tanks. But I'll have to get that out of there eventually because it will break down. And there you have it, a community shelly pond. I'm pretty sure that at least, I don't know anybody who's done this yet. A really cool combination. I'm loving it so far. They seem to be getting along. And the only thing I worry about with this, with the shellies and the big fish, is making sure they get fed enough. When I feed, Usually feed over here like this, feed some over here. That way it breaks everybody away. Maybe send them that way a little bit. The bigger granules. Then I'll smush up some small ones here, which these platinum rice fish are good at helping with. Then I'll come back over here and try to get them guys away from the shellies. Keep them busy. These rainbows are always so hungry. And look at that upper tour though. How awesome is that? Yum, 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 yum. You can see they're getting some bites. And I do try to incorporate live food. Like I want to incorporate some black worms, some Daphnia. That'll help with these little guys too. Sometimes if you gotta blow your food down too, that'll help too. But wanted to make this a short video. We'll end up doing a full fish room tour because we're kind of building up, going as we're growing and sharing that as we go. So hit the subscribe button if you want to check all that out and see this more. We'll have that on the Friday night Q&A that I do every Friday, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. And eventually I'll have edited videos of this, building other stuff off. We're gonna be doing some really cool stuff. Let's try to hit this 100,000 subscriber mark. How awesome would that be? That would be crazy. Hit the like button, that would be appreciated and show the algorithms. And I hope you guys all have a great one. Hope you're doing well. If not, I hope it gets better for you. Until next time, everybody, peace.